What's good? What's good? I ain't made a video in a minute. Bear with me a little bit starting off. Cause uh yeah, I'm driving it. I don't gotta stand and it's snowing. It's snowing in the bluff. Palm bluff motherfucking Arkansas. Like and it's real snow. It ain't just like ice, cause this is probably for like, you know, my people up north that just don't know how it go down south. Like, yeah, it don't snow. It snow sometimes, rarely, but it be more ice than snow. But this just snow. Pretty much, yeah, this is easier than driving in the rain, really. It didn't escalate, like. It ain't doing nothing to the escalator uh, that I will drive. I don't know. I had some stuff going on lately. I ain't really about to get on here with some drama. Because I ain't made no videos in a while. But before, you know, I was kind of like regretting, you know, other people's situations all down about somebody else's situation. But, you know, I'm figuring out, like, I've been figuring out they about they self. I, dis I discovered Love Dorsey. I actually like her channel. I think that's where my ex got, like, a lot of her rhetoric from. Which, I don't know. The only th time she said something that sounded good was pretty much a repeat of something I heard on the Love Dorsey video. Crazy, right? But yeah, I like her. I really do like her videos, though. My thing, the subject of today's video, going back to basics. Like, because of, like, stuff un. Yeah. Series of situations pretty much brought me to going back to basics. I was already on some going back to basics, living a simpler life type stuff, even before my last relationship, which probably is what kind of probably led to that being a relationship that shouldn't even have been a relationship. But anyhow, going on forward, going back to basics, like sometimes you just got to be able to admit to yourself and to, you ain't got to explain shit to people around you really, to an extent, but not really. But yeah, you gotta be able to admit to yourself, it is time to go back to basics. We gotta build this shit back up. Like, man. Like, one point I had 20 grand in the bank. Like, shit, we need to get back to that. Like, we need to get back out here and run it back up. Like, it doesn't run it up before, we can run it up again. And when I say we, I'm talking about your damn self on we. Like, you. You, like, we in French, like, you, you are the motherfucking cavalry for your goddamn self. A lot of the problems people be having, like, <clears throat> you getting saved from a situation, but you keep running in the goddamn burning house, trying to save somebody else. And then, you just gotta ask yourself, is the person you trying to save, would that motherfucker save you? Are the people you looking out for, are they people who would look out for you? I mean, it's Valentine's Day. I ain't heard from nobody. But, yeah, I put everybody on the lot because, like, I'm going through my back to basics journey and Seems like people just trying to use me as they come up. Because here's the thing. I guess after you done, I ain't gonna say been up so far, when you think you going, when you think you slumming is somebody else like, damn, that's, you doing all right. I wish I was doing that good. I, I, I'm like, well, here's what you do. You do this, this, and this. Oh. Just trying to do all that. Okay, well, see, that's that's a lot of the problem. That's a lot of the problem. A lot of people want things you have, but they ain't willing to do the things you did to get them. I 
and other people just see where you are at the moment and judge like that situation. You just gotta get beyond like public opinion. Like your opinion of me does not matter. Like this is what actually is going on with me. And I know what's going on with me, because I don't like I don't lie to myself about situations. I mean I, other people will lie to me. But I don't I don't lie to other people. Nor do I really lie to I don't, I don't lie to myself. And I really try my best not to lie to other people. But yeah. sometimes all you need to do is just eat, sleep, work. That's it. That's it. Like I done had like three, four females try to move in with me on my back to basics journey, sleeping on the couch. Sleeping on the couch. Wanna join me? Sleeping on the couch. Which is cool. Be like they really damn. But no, no, no. Like This experience kind of like Tommy, like, yeah, I might want to actually just ride this back to basics thing out for the, for a little while longer, cause yeah, there ain't 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 no less or no more action than was happening before. You know what I'm saying? For probably actually more, but yeah, the thing is, you want to save and stack up your. I got two homeboys. One homeboy, he like me, he's single. The other homeboy, he married and he got two kids. Like, one homeboy, he was trying to get to like what me and my ex situation was. And I was like, yeah, the single one, of course. And I was like, yeah, I don't even think that worked out. Here's what you need to be on the lookout for. Here's why I think that situation might not be so good. And I think, like, the ultimate goal, he wanted to be, like, my other married homeboy. Which, you know, I would like to get married and have kids. But, like, you got to find the right person for that first. You just can't be trying to make the person the right person. Like, that's the thing. You don't be out here trying to make people the stuff they know. Damn, there go the police. There's a lot of them. Well, there ain't, ain't a lot. It's just three. circle around, come up the highway, so you can see downtown. But, get you back to basics, see? I'm on the business. I ain't getting paid right now. Like, it's part of owning the business. Random things happen. Sometimes you gonna be yeah, random things happen, but yeah. I ain't got paid, like, all year. I'm out here trapping it out, doing DoorDash, Roadie. I ain't really did do it that much here lately, but yeah. You see what I'm saying? Working a little side gig. Still running my business, though. Still running my business, but probably still did, like, another 30 hours on the app at the same damn time and people are like where you at what you doing I'm like trying to get my shit back straight like i done hustled up on the motherfucking car note this week like you shouldn't have a car note i really preach against this but you know that goes back to like stuff happening in life which i could just pay cash for a car i really even could have paid cash for the escalade but that's just me true but, yeah, I'm going to pay the Escalade off so that I actually get paid for my business. I got, yeah, I got some money in invoices. And that's the thing. I got some money in invoices because I still kept working, although I ain't getting paid. Because at some point, I'm going to get paid. 
And then I'm like, yeah, but I still need to pay these bills in the meantime. So, still need to pay these bills in the meantime. Man. Like, I still need to get out here and like double hustle. Like, yeah, I will, yeah, I guess I'll go straight. We are kind of like over here by my ex. So like, that, like, I ain't trying to be like seeming like I'm stalking. I'm just showing you downtown. I think I'm gonna probably just go ahead exit past all of our just so we ain't yeah yeah really I don't know the street blocked up it'd be better to show you downtown from the other direction so I think we still I'm kind of like sort of go that way and then like loop around can't really see the lake at night no way Trying to get stuck down there. Got all wheel drive, but I don't trust it that much. tech service. I ain't never really went into what kind of business I own, but yeah, I own a tech service. That's where we started at right there. Like, this has not been closed off for some months. I don't know if you're really just supposed to be driving through. But I guess I might as well keep going until I see some, something to say you can't. It's for sale. downtown coming along in the bluff. The old pawn shop. I don't know if it's for sale, but it's probably for lease because they done moved. They're the county jail slash courthouse slash you live around here long enough you done been there. Pops Barbershop. Staple in the city. Slide action. 
haven't made a video in a while. I don't know, just, you know, showing y'all what's up. It don't normally snow. But, number one, where I was kind of ranting and raving about, I kind of ranting and just got off subject on a couple of things. But, getting back to basics. You gotta get your money straight. Like, I'm not a Facebook post. You need, you need peace, sustainability, and financial abundance. We could probably say financial abundance and sustainability are similar things, but we just don't make them two different things for now. But peace, you gotta find peace within yourself. Ain't nobody else gonna bring you peace. It, that's not gonna happen. If anything else, somebody else is gonna disturb your peace. You just, yeah, you gotta find that peace within yourself that someone else don't disturb your peace. That's what it is. Try to only deal with people who are less likely to disturb your peace. I mean, I guess anybody can disturb your peace at some point. <laughs> Stability. I came from a two-parent household with structure and like I ain't gonna lie, like I ain't grow up in the hood. I did go to Catholic school till I got put out. I was a badass kid, like yeah. So like But I guess from what I'm really saying is Although I didn't come up in poverty, I see how you can get out of poverty. The first part of getting out of poverty is realizing you're in poverty. Because most people in poverty don't realize they are in poverty. That That is like the problem with the situation. Like broke people spend more money than people who really do be having money. Like broke people is the life of the party. Grow people, they get a dollar. They gonna spend a dollar fifty. Like that's not good. That's not good. Like times are getting hard. You know when the government just giving you out free money, you know something like, yeah, it's fucked up out here for real, for real. Like you might wanna stack up that free money, you know, invest. Uh some people ask me about it, you know doing classes on investing and on real estate and I think that's a good idea yeah see that's one that's one good aspect of being single now like I have more time to actually figure out some stuff for y'all I mean it probably benefit me too I'm not really big on charging for information but you know it'd be for the low if I do charge like three dollar like you know audio book or ebook or something like that they drive them ridiculously slow or too ridiculously slow life about to change man Just past the second light, a couple months back, I had a wreck in my infinity. That's really why I got the. That's like. I'm like a good family to you, but I ain't got no family. I'm just a single dude doing me, you know. But, you know, I do want to have a family, so. Plus, 6.2 liter all wheel drive. I always wanted an Escalade. enough money where I could technically buy a new Escalade, but it wouldn't be a good idea. Like, spending a hundred and something thousand dollars on a vehicle wouldn't be a good idea. I didn't spend a hundred and something thousand dollars in my house. I got like a hundred and something thousand dollar house, but I only 
pay like sixties for it. Jefferson Square Shopping Center. I'm just chopping it up with y'all. Like, subscribe, like, I don't know that I sent this video, but, like, I'm gonna say I know who this is in front of me, but, yeah, that's, like, ridiculous stuff. took that PUA money, put that in that Bitcoin, like, you would have damn near flipped that uh, PUA money to about 100 racks. Now, would I have done that in real life? No, I wouldn't have. Because I feel like if I put all my money in Bitcoin, Bitcoin would go to like 50 cents. Like, I would just have that kind of luck with it. Like, I kind of feel like that. But, yeah, when I have like an extra five, ten bucks, for real, I, I, I mess with the Bitcoin. I, I, I think it might actually hit a hundred grand at some point. I mean, I don't just totally get the concept. I mean, you can break down blockchain to me if you want to. But, yeah. Somebody stranded in the snow. Or maybe not. I took their flashes off as soon as I was turn the camera over there and then I don't get like the light on so they could have known I was recording. But yeah, on the going back to basics, here's the deal. Take everything down to the minimum. There's many things in the world but few are needed. So just get back to like what you need for you, yourself. It's just you and yourself. If it's just you and yourself, you and your kids. If it's just you and your kids, you and your partner, like y'all need to make it a plan on the come up. That's that's a, like a problem I've seen. Like I'm just going to say in the black community, because I pretty much exclusively date in the black community. But yeah. Like, people ain't trying to build. They just trying to make a come up off of you. I mean, I ain't going to say it ain't no good females out here. I know plenty good. I ain't going to say plenty. But I do know some good females. I would say plenty. That goes back to choices. Like, I'm trying to choose uh, the cut through this subdivision. And I'm turning up here. Yeah, I'm trying to give y'all a video guide and tour to my house. Like, we done went that direction like twice almost. We just ain't made it all the way there. <laughs> but, yeah. So, my plan. This is my plan plan for where I'm at in life right now. You might not be where I'm at in life. Your goal should be to get to pass where I'm at in life. Like, I ain't trying to say, like, I'm in dog be out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not an uppity person. Most people that know me would say I'm all, like, a 
guess, uh, Walmart over there, I guess I could, like, yeah. come over this way, I guess, but, yeah, here's my plan, say, since I already say how, like, I already run, run a seasonal business and, you know, doing taxes, that's, like, some seasonal shit to begin with, like, so, basically, I need to keep the, you know, the social hustle going, no, I almost said social media hustle, but, uh, you know, the gig hustle going, the DoorDash, the Uber, you know, I got rental properties, but, you know, that's up and down, depending on how people feeling about paying their rent and what's going on in their life, so, yeah, keep that going. I still got some other little side ventures in the works. I'm not really, you know, going to just yet to. It's something more solid. I'm more in the planning stages on that. But I'm going to save at least 20 to 50% of my income. Yes, I to yeah. Use, like, the DoorDash. Get caught up on my bills pay off the rest of my bills and really yeah probably go up to like 50 maybe even 75 percent savings rate like off the money for my business my bad about the windshield wipers it's like i guess this i'll call it frozen rain i call it frozen rain i don't think that's no more sleep nice church right here. I got a little walk, lovely fast walkway thing, but it's nice. Nice. nice church. from here I want to see how it's done grew or not grew <laughs> I would say it's done grown some it, it is definitely new people moving here and it's really cheap like probably getting houses for five bands like it can still happen I ain't gonna say it can't still happen but what you getting for five bands now ain't what you was getting for five bands five years ago so let's keep that in mind. Like, I had a debate with somebody about that on Facebook. <clears throat> like, buying cheap houses is just a waste of money. Man, I'm not like saying I can't really see your logic on that. All I'm saying is, like, I didn't think I could afford to buy a house till I just, like, saved my money and, like, I'm. I bought my first house for $3,000. And it was a hole in the ceiling. Like, not just the ceiling. Like, you can see the outside from the inside. Like, outside, inside. Like, there's some nice subdivision over here, too. But, yeah, $3,000. I financed it out for, like, forty something do believe. I mean, I did some work to it. I mean, you know, it wasn't like a $3,000 to $40,000 flip. No, it was, it was some work in between. But, you know, that just showed me, like, you know, I mean, it took almost, like, maybe two years to do the work on it. 
Like, it shouldn't have took two years. It was, it was the first time. Your first time doing anything takes time. So, yeah. I would say, if you want to learn how to do something, shit. Jump head first out there and try and do it. Well, no. Hold on. Let's see. If I, 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 yeah, people would take that the wrong way. What I mean is research. Like, I don't even really need to be show hangers. But research what you're trying to do. Research what uh, <clears throat> resources you have. Like, they have programs in different places for different stuff. I ain't gonna run down all the kind of programs. Uh, tax lien properties. Arkansas. Arkansas is a tax deed state. So, like, if you buy property from the state of Arkansas, which actually is technically you buying it from the county, but the state facilitates the county sale, you know, you can buy a house of 500 bucks. You, like, at that point, you got three to five grand, I'll be looking at, like, tax lien property. Because it's just not here that you can do that. You know, in, in Arkansas. Just get you a fixer up or this nice house. cheap real estate looking like 2022 the year so like you still got time to get your shit straight you still got time to get your credit straight get your down payment money built up because uh man these foreclosures is gonna happen there's too many people's money fucked up out here too many people's money fucked up Get your money right. Find some peace. Find peace within yourself. When you find peace within yourself, you can't have peace with others. You can't really have peace with others when you ain't got peace with yourself. Let me turn my beef for us down. Pretty much. 
much just been ranting. This wasn't like a planned out video with slides. And I'm gonna do some more of the videos with the slides, like actually make a full class, because I did see somebody made a class on like something I made a video about. Like, but that's cool though, you know. Generational wealth is like a thing. The racial wealth gap is a thing. That's like a thing I really do have interest in trying to improve. Like, so that's cool with me. But till the next video, I'm gonna holler at y'all. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Shit, even if you just like shit, it's a country ass nigga riding around in the snow, ranting like, yeah do that, like, still, and be like, fuck that nigga Brandon, like, share that, like, you feel like shit, Brandon making some good points, share for that reason, like, I'm trying to get my likes up, like, I'm about to put out some better content.